Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the next video of Triple Chris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Chris and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the head wound of the Antichrist. New understanding. Brothers and sisters, let us read Revelation chapter 13 verse 3. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. The head was wounded as it was wounded to death. I always thought about this, and we know that we are called here in this ministry of Triple Grace, what is 555, to the number 3. And I only see and saw for a long time two times the Antichrist showing forth. Once as a political ruler doing the seal tribulation, as a new pharaoh, as Mr. O, with the Ten Kingdoms, who will then try to make the war against the mountain at the Sixth Seal, the year of recompense that we see in Second Esther chapter 13, where he then be killed. And I thought that would be the head wound. But in this chapter, 2nd Esther chapter 13, everything sh shows that they will be reduced to ashes, to the fire of the Lord. So that does not say anything about a head wound, but they are reduced to ashes. And then of course we also know the second time when he comes as a beast, that refers this one, the Revelation chapter 13 now to during the trumpet tribulation. Antichrist will be resurrected again out of the pit as a beast, the worship beast, not a political ruler now, but to be worshipped so that Satan can sit together with us in, in the temple, the millennium temple that's built in the first half of the trumpet tribulation. So we have two Antichrists. But this beast will then also be destroyed when Jesus comes feet down on the Mount of Olives with the armies from the heavens. He will be destroyed in that battle of Armageddon. So that can also not be the head wound. So what is it then? And why is it that I only see two? But there should be three. Because we know everything is in three. Where is the first Antichrist? And one thing that I immediately understood through the Holy Spirit is this Antichrist cannot be go back into the Old Testament. It cannot be something like Nebuchadnezzar or uh, Epiphanes, whatever the case is, the ones who, who ransacked uh, Jerusalem. It cannot be these ones. It must be within this generation that is alive at the time when the Jews return to the land of Israel. It must be the end times. And I was looking and looking and I didn't get any understanding. Where, 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 where? Until, until I saw this wonderful video from informed Christian about time looping. The time countdown. And I will link it again here under this video if you have not seen it yet. And then everything opened up. Yes, of course, the first Antichrist, when he was talking about that Antichrist was there before the time now, and that he is preparing now this technology so that he can make time loops, that he can take, can change the times and the laws as is written in the scripture. And then he said, let's go back where everything started. And then I got the understanding, yes, the third Antichrist is right in front of our eyes and is fitting so perfectly. The Antichrist that has entered a body at that time, in the year 1933, the rise of Adolf Hitler. Hitler was the person who was the first embodiment of the Antichrist spirit here on earth. He fulfilled everything. 
hunting down the Jews, the great Holocaust, everything. But this great suffering, this great dark darkness that came over the Jews, led then to the establishment of, Je of uh, Israel. But Hitler was the one that first tempered with time. He was the one that first had knowledge from fallen angels. He was the one that was advanced so much at this time because he was in league with the Antichrist spirit. And now we come to the amazing part. How did he die? And if you know history, you will know what I'm right now tell you that he shot himself in the head and he died of that. He killed himself in his Führerbanker in Berlin, just when the armies of the US and the Russians are coming to catch him. He shot himself with his gun in the head. That is the deadly head wound that we see the first embodiment of the Antichrist spirit on earth in the final generation. When did he die? 1945. When did the fig tree generation start? 1948. You see, all is fitting together. After this great time of darkness, a great light was coming. After the Antichrist died with a head wound, at that time, the great light came for the Jews, for the holy nation of Israel. And so it will be again. And it will go forward now. The next Antichrist embodiment will be Mr. O, the political ruler doing the seal tribulation. And the final one will be the beast together with Satan doing the trumpet tribulation. Three, again a fulfillment of everything what the Lord has shown us. Always. Three, the number of Trinity, it must be fulfilled. Always. Always. And look how amazing it is. I always tell you, the first one is always for, for the whole world. For everything. It will affect everything. Always. Because it's like the, you pour out the Holy Spirit around the whole world. And then it becomes smaller, it becomes a remnant. Then it's only for the Christians. And then even smaller, it is only for the Jews. You see how it works. The first one is always from the world. So it also had to fit right now with this. Is it? Of course. What did Hitler do? He had a World War II. A World War affecting the whole world, his actions. Everywhere. And the next Antichrist, Mr. O, also he maybe want to call him the world ruler. He will rule the new world order. Yes, that might be true. But he will go after the remnant. He will go after the harvesting bride. He will go after the churches. He will go after the Christian. And that is a remnant out of the world. And then the final Antichrist, the beast, the true beast of Revelation 13. It comes out of the sea, out of the abyss. What is that beast? Where will that beast attack? And who does it be concerned with? Will be concerned with the Jews. This is the trumpet tribulation time for Judah. It will be the time of the Jews. Even a smaller remnant out of, out of the world and the Christian. A smaller one, the Jews. And there you see the picture again. Holy Spirit, Jesus and the Father. That is always the picture. Only this now, it is on the enemy side. The huge Holy Spirit was a time of Adolf Hitler, World War II, II where he affected everyone. And then now Obama comes, when he think, I am like Christ, I am like Jesus, I am the ruler of this world. And then the final one, sitting in the temple claiming to be God the Father. Oh, everything is fitting together again. Great revelation. And we have seen now where the heart head wound is coming from. That is Adolf Hitler, the beginning of the Antichrist. And we know they have started to temper with time at that time frame of 1930 to 1945. I have seen videos about that. What we call the glocke, the bell, 
that is time that is manipulating of time I have seen that place where it was locked on it was somewhere I think in a Polish forest where they had something that looked exactly like what you look now at the head-on collider and in the middle there was a bell fixed and it was swinging and there was something about time that nobody knew until today and there it started and now Susan and the great head-on collider we have come to the time now and I will continue in the third video today to talk about that what maybe could come up towards us but now we found the head wound we found from where it came and it came and it fits the final generation the end times brothers and sisters be blessed in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen and amen maranatha